welcome to Marcy Barker Fitness. Today I have an awesome HIT workout for you. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. So this workout's meant to get your heart rate up quick, but will be done in no time. This video and workout is gonna be less than 15 minutes. What we're going to do is focus all on our legs. We're gonna hit the inner thighs, the outer thighs, the glutes, the quads, and everything in between, okay? So through this HIIT workout, you're going to become a stronger person. It's just for a very for short time, but I'm all about fun and sustainable fitness. That means you wanna make changes that will stick. And you can do that by doing everything at once, but you can choose to do one thing a day and you will be better at it tomorrow. All right, so for this workout, we're gonna do six different exercises and we're going to repeat them twice. So we're gonna have 12 minutes of activity and then we're gonna have 20 seconds of rest in between each minute. I have a regular timer here and it's set for one minute and then 20 seconds in between each workout. There are lots of different intensities you can do as we go through this. So when we start and you see me doing something crazy or high intensity or you're not used to it, you're not ready for it, totally fine. The last thing I want you to do is just sit on your couch and watch me, okay? Cause that's not that fun. Lastly, before we start, I just want you to know you can share this video, share it with somebody who's looking for at-home workouts because this is all body resistance. We're not using any weight at all. Are you ready? Okay, first thing we're gonna do is start with a squat and a torso twist. All you're going to do is continue on one side. We're gonna burn out this stationary leg and you're going to feel it. Now, if you can't kick all the way up here, whether you don't have the flexibility or the movement yet, totally fine, okay? Squat and just kick forward. You're engaging that hip flexor and firing it off, okay? If you want to, add a little bit of a twist. This first time through though, I want you to pay attention to what your body can do. Now, when you squat down, it's important that you see you're going down, your shoulders are staying up, but you're not bending over, none of this, okay? Wanna make sure that our form is nice and good, you should be feeling it right now. And we're just gonna wait for that beep on that timer. We'll have 20 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna go straight into the other leg, all right? All right, whoo! Timer doesn't come soon enough, and this is just the first minute. Okay, so during your rest, I want you to keep moving. Keep the blood flow going and wait for that beep <laughs> so you can get ready for it, okay? You should feel your heart rate up. It's coming up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna get my stance ready. Abs are in tight. Core is going. All right, taking it down. Other side. Make sure you're sitting it back. Now notice, I'm not doing some crazy fast movement. You don't have to do that with high intensity. All you have to do is make sure you're getting your heart rate up for a period of time and then getting some rest. But if you wanna make this harder, try and talk the whole time. <laughs> That's really challenging, okay? So different things you can do. You can put your arms out if you feel like that helps you get down a little bit, or you can reach straight down because it helps your chest stay up, your core engaged, but more importantly, make sure you're having fun, okay? This is not gonna be any fun if you don't enjoy it, and we wanna make sure that you can find a level that allows you to try while you're doing something new, all right? Keep breathing, I'm just waiting for that beep, <laughs> waiting for that beep to go off. After this, we're gonna go into a lunge with a cross raise. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. All right, there's our timer. 20 seconds of rest. Remember to keep moving. Grab your water too. Grab a towel if you need it soon. We're two minutes in. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is a lunge with a cross raise. So what you're gonna do is make sure you have a very wide stance, okay? Where's that beep? There it is. All right, you're gonna take it down. We're doing a cross raise. So I want you to engage your inner thigh. You're coming down and crossing it there, okay? Woo, I'm feeling this. We're burning out this one stationary leg and feeling it. Now, with a lunge, none of this. None of these little steps. I want you to take a big step. Your knees should go to 90 degrees or bigger every single time, all right? If you wanna add more of a torso twist, do that. <sighs> All right, I'm feeling it. If you guys are feeling it, you're doing it right. It doesn't have to be crazy, it just has to challenge you. All right, whoo, where is that timer? Where's that beep? I'm waiting for it just as much as you are. Taking it down, breathing. 
Okay, you should feel it, your inner thigh. Now, don't bang your knee down to the ground. Take it nice and slow. Good, 20 minutes of rest. Ooh, 20 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> Wouldn't 20 minutes be nice? You would not want to get up and finish this workout. Okay, other leg forward. Good, nice, tall stance, wait for the beep. Almost there. And go. All right, knee down. Engage that inner thigh. Good, you can add the torso if you want to, so just drop your shoulder just a little bit. Dropping your shoulder doesn't mean killing your form, all right? You're still keeping a nice, tight torso. And bring it up and down. Nice big step. Don't forget the big steps. All right, this is going to challenge your stabilization muscles too. Anytime you're doing unilateral movements, you're gonna have to work on that. That's a good thing to have. All right, keep breathing. Enjoy this one, because the next one we're doing is fun. <laughs> Super fun. Keep breathing. And you guys, we're four minutes in. That means we're one third done with this workout. You can do it. Almost there. All right. Okay, this next one is a frog hop with a calf raise. I'm adding two movements because I want you to challenge yourself both in different areas of your muscles. It allows you to take the intensity up just a little bit without completely killing one muscle group at a time. Okay, so frog hop, take a wide stance, get ready to jump up, squeeze. Okay, nice soft landing, calf raise. Squeezing the glutes, squeeze together, calf raise. I want you to make sure you have lots of softness in your knees. We're not doing anything crazy, but we're making sure we can feel it. All right? All right, frog hop, calf raise. Squeeze those legs together. Jeez, I feel this in my calves. Frog hop, calf raise. Frog hop, calf raise. Woo! These ones are not my favorite. <laughs> You'll love these though. You'll feel it. Your legs are gonna be stronger and you can show all your friends your new move. I'm waiting for that beep. Come on, where's the beep? Keep breathing, oh, there it is. Okay, 20 seconds. Pay attention to your heart rate. Take an inventory. Say, am I being lazy or am I doing a good job? Either way, tell yourself you're awesome because you're doing this video, all right? Hit workouts are a lot of fun, but they're even better when you look forward to them. Okay, last thing, skater hops. Take one stance, step it back. Another stance, take it back. We're crossing the center because we want to engage those inner thighs right there, okay? I'm taking it really slow at first because we're moving across so much room, you wanna be careful. If you feel like you got this down, take it down a little bit, okay? You're just gonna step side to side. Keep the chest up, none of this. You will hurt your back, it's not fun, okay? Hopping side to side. And you guys, we're on minute number six. We're about halfway through. We're gonna repeat the whole process and then finish out our workout. All right. Keep breathing. You guys, aren't you having fun? Tell yourself, I'm having fun. All right, it's fun when that beep comes around. All right, we're gonna keep going. 20 seconds, we're halfway through. And then we're going back to the squat twist, okay? Same thing from the very beginning. Wide stance, deep breath. Get ready, get ready for the beep. Taking it down. Now, you've done this before. You know what a minute feels like. So you're gonna know if you can take it up a notch or down a notch, okay? Take it low, get that torso twist in there, isolate one leg, watch the feet, keep the chest up. Remember to breathe, all right? If you're not sure how to breathe, I've made a couple videos on it, so be sure to check those out. Subscribe if you haven't yet, because I'll be happy to help you 
in whatever area you need. All right. Now we're halfway through, so I'm gonna take it up just a little bit. You can too. You should feel the burn in the legs. And where's that beep? Down and up. Breathe. Good. Woo! All right, 20 seconds. Now, this 20 seconds, it might not feel like that long, okay? But I promise you, time your rest. Because if you're doing a workout and you feel like you're just go, 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 you will appreciate the times of rest and your body really needs them to just take a step back, reset the form, and go again. All right? Down and kick. Good, chest is upright. Remember, whenever you do a squat, you're making sure you're sitting it back in a chair. We wanna make sure you can wiggle the toes. All of the weight should be in your heels and you should be isolating everything in that lower body. Squeezing the glutes at the top, adding that torso twist, making sure the abs are tight so you feel good, but you start to look really good too. Keep breathing. Take it down. Nice. We have just over four minutes left. You can do this. Nice. Where's the beep? I know all of you guys are like, where's that beep at? I swear it's been longer than a minute. You can do it. We're doing a great job. There's the beep. All right, next, we're going into the lunge with the cross raise. I want you to make sure you keep your abs nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna start with one leg forward. Stance, ready? Shoulders are going upright, okay? Nice big step, waiting for the beep, taking it down. Good, taking it up, cross the center of your body. Engage that inner thigh and the hip flexor, take it down. Remember, I'm not doing anything super crazy. I'm just challenging myself by not stopping, okay? You can stop when we're all done. And you're gonna feel good, you're gonna feel sweat, and you're gonna be like, I'm awesome, I completed that whole workout. I tried, I'm becoming better. Because really, you guys, it's all in, the head, in your head. The way you talk to yourself, that's what pushes you through a whole workout. Nice big step, you're doing awesome. Keep going, wait for that beep. Nice deep breaths. Geez, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Even that small movement right there. You can feel it, especially if it's something new to you. I'm, I'm sure that beep is coming. There it is. All right, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna take it on the other side. Shake it out just a little bit. You'll feel that you might be getting a little bit shaky, okay? You can continue to go. Just make sure you're paying attention to your body, okay? Other leg forward. Nice big stance. Chest up, back knee is going straight to the ground. All right, taking it down, cross. All right, now, you can do this with a straight leg if you want to in front. It's not gonna kill you if you bend your leg a little bit. Okay, pull that hip up just a little bit. Do what's right for you though, okay? You're the only one that really knows if you're pushing yourself or if you're being lazy. But hey, if you're still standing up and watching this, you're doing a great job. Because let's face it, it's hard to be motivated sometimes through a screen. But if you need help with that motivation, look into my challenges. Because daily accountability from a personal trainer sometimes is a game changer, all right? Keep breathing, nice big step. Feeling the isolation on one leg. You're killing it, you're doing good. And after this, we only have two more minutes. Keep breathing. And up, you're doing a great job. I'm doing a great job. We're all doing a great job. Waiting for that beep. <laughs> there we go. All right, 20 seconds. Remember, frog hops with a calf raise. This may be a new move for you. It may feel a little bit weird. Take it at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to keep up with what I'm doing because we may all be at different levels, all right? Okay, nice big stance. Get ready. Get ready for the beep. All right, taking it down. Squeeze, out calves up, okay? With this one, soft knees the whole time. I don't wanna see that. Doesn't that just like look awkward? Looks like it hurts too. Push, you're squeezing your glutes 
like you have frog legs. Okay? I know, not everybody wants frog legs, but we want the muscles on the frog legs, all right? Squeeze together. Good. We're almost done. Push it, all right? You can do it. Ooh. Like I said, these are not my favorite. <laughs> but I know they're gonna make our butts look really nice. You got it. Plus, we only have one more minute. After this one, one more minute. You got it. Waiting for that beep. <sighs> nice. I think my timer's broken. That's what it feels like, huh? Woo! All right, you guys, one more minute. Skater hops. You will know if you can take it up a level. Or you may look like me and you're like, yeah, I can handle one more minute. Okay, just don't quit. Take a wide stance. This way, you're gonna take it bigger. And breathe. Wait for the beep. There we go. Okay, taking it back. You can step. Or you can say, hey, I'm so awesome. There's one minute left. I'm gonna take it higher wider, okay, or up. Make sure that your core is engaged, that you can flex your abs the whole time, but that you're breathing. We're almost done. We're almost done. You just keep telling yourself, we're almost done. Keep breathing. Nice and controlled, nothing crazy. Just challenging yourself. Up. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Up. You guys are doing great. Where's that beep? Keep going. We are almost there, you guys. Very last minute. Good. And we're done. All right. So, we have our 20 seconds of rest, but you get 20 minutes of rest now, all right? So you guys, with this hit exercise, I want you to come back and repeat it as often as you need. It will be here on YouTube whenever you want. All right, so thank you for doing that workout with me. I hope you had a lot of fun, and I know it's not always fun, but seeing results is super fun, especially when you're consistent, because not only are you becoming stronger, you become stronger here. You start to have control over your thoughts, over your actions, and you're more aware of what's going on in your life. Um, if you guys want more workouts like this, I have a body sculpting challenge that's full of them. You guys can go to marcybarker.com to see which challenges are right for you. But really, all you have to do is take the first step and try. I will always be here for you guys. I will see you another time for a full length workout. In the meantime, please subscribe because I post videos every Monday through Friday with lots of good content. Okay, I'll see you guys all later. Bye.